Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason, Helen Fielding Chapter 1, Happily Ever After Monday the 27th of January, 9 stone 3, total fat groove, boyfriends 1, hurrah, shags 3, hurrah, calories 2100, Calories used up by shags, 600. So total calories, 1,500. Exemplary. 7.15am. Hurrah, the wilderness years are over. For four weeks and five days, now have been in functional relationship with adult male, thereby proving I'm not to love para as previously feared. Feel marvellous, rather like Jemima Goldsmith or similar radiant newlywed opening cancer hospital in Vail while everyone imagines her in bed with Imran Khan. Ooh, Mark Darcy just moved. Maybe he will wake up and talk to me about my opinions. 7.30am. Mark Darcy has not woken up. I know. I will get up and make him fantastic fried breakfast with sausages, scrambled eggs and mushrooms. Or maybe eggs benedict or florentine. 7.31am Depending what eggs benedict or florentine actually are. 7.32am Except do not have any mushrooms or sausages. 7.33am or eggs. 7.34am. Or come to think of it, milk. 7.35am. Still has not woken up. Mmm. He is lovely. Love looking at him asleep. Very sexy broad shoulders and hairy chest. Not that sex object or anything. Interested in brain. Mmm. 7.37am. Still has not woken up. Must not make noise, realise, but maybe could wake him subtly by thought vibes. 7.40am. Maybe we'll put... Gah! 7.50am. Was Mark Darcy sitting bolt upright yelling, Bridget, will you stop Bloody staring at me when I am asleep. Go find something to do. 8.45am. In Coins Cafe, having cappuccino, chocolate croissant and cigarette. Is a relief to have fag in open and not be on best behaviour. Very complicated actually having man in house, as cannot freely spend requisite amount of time in bathroom or turn into gas chamber, as conscious of other person, late for work, desperate for pee, etc. Also disturbed by Mark folding up underpants at night, rendering it strangely embarrassing, now simply to keep all own clothes in pile on floor. Also, he is coming round again tonight, so have to go to the supermarket either before or after work. Well, do not have to, but horrifyingly, truth is want to. In bizarre, possibly genetic throwback style way, such as could not admit to Sharon. 8.50am Hmm, wonder what Mark Darcy would be like as father. Father to own offspring mean, not self. That would indeed be sick in the manner of Oedipus. 8.55am. Anyway, must not obsess or fantasise. 9am. Wonder if Una and Geoffrey Alcumbry would let us put Marquis on their lawn for the recep- Gah! Was my mother walking into my cafe bold as brass in a country casual's pleated skirt and apple green blazer with shiny gold buttons, like a spaceman turning up in the House of Commons 
squirting slime and sitting itself down calmly on the front bench. Hello darling, she trilled, just on my way to Debenhams and I know you always come in here for your breakfast. Thought I'd pop in and see when you want your colours done. Ooh, I fancy a cup of coffee. Do you think they'll warm up the milk? Mum, I've told you I don't want my colours done, I muttered scarlet as people stared and a sulky, rushed off her feet waitress bustled up. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud, darling. You need to make a statement about yourself. Not sitting on the fence all the time in all these fudges and slurries. Oh, hello, dear. Mum went into her slow, kindly, let's try to make the best friends with the waiting staff and be the most special person in the cafe for no fathomable reason, voice. Now, let me see. Do you know, I think I'll have a coffee.